Evening everybody, Rob, reseller guy. Tonight's uh, video, I'm going to show you two things I bought from uh, Goodwill online. I spent a total of $20 each. Estimates uh, for a listing on eBay, if they sell, about $474. So, not bad. So, the first one we're going to start with right here is a commercial Mr. Coffee. Basically, it's a double burner, top, bottom. Um, just got to test it right now. The comps and comparables on that one are running about $225. So, not a bad deal at $20. So, if I sell it for, I don't know, $200, that's about $180 profit. Not a bad haul there. All I did was click the button, and I bid and won. The next thing over there is called a Shavat. Follow spot 400G. Basically, that's one of those things where you go to a concert and the guy who's singing or the band members are running around, jumping around. That thing is there. That's one of the things that basically shines the light on them. Um, I don't have a power cord for it, so I got to see if I can find one. I haven't found one on eBay, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But as just as it is right now, parts as it goes, uh, $250. I paid $20 for it. It looks in good condition. It's missing a knob up on the top right up here. I guess it's like if you shove it back and forth, it does different, I don't know, tighter shots or tighter beams of light. Um, but yeah, not a bad deal. Um, $40. If I sell them as they're predicted, I could probably clear, like I said, over probably about $400. Um, they are big. That's the one problem, though. Um, the spotlight doesn't weigh very much. I'm surprised that it doesn't weigh as much as I thought it would be. I'm estimating probably not more than 10 pounds, maybe 15 and pushing it. The Mr. Coffee, that's a little different story. Probably, yeah, probably about the same weight. But it's bigger, obviously, so that's going to be um, requiring a little bit extra uh, packing and box blockage, blockage, extra box packaging. Um, yeah, but anyways, so I thought I'd show you what I just picked up. Um, I used to buy quite a bit of stuff from Goodwill online. If you saw some of my other videos, but the prices were going stupid, and I was talking to the person where I got these from today. And she pretty much confirmed what I thought. Um, they now have somebody going through all the stuff that is donated, checking it on Amazon, checking on eBay, and then that's where they're gauging their prices at. So if you buy something online um, from Goodwill Auction or buy shop now at Goodwill.com, certain things you got to watch because they may be having them at you know market price. So if you're thinking you're going to score a deal, you better check because you may not. Um, obviously, I made sure that those things were not, you know, going for commercial or retail pricing. One thing I did, the um, reason why I paid $20 for them, this is where it gets good. So $10 was for them to process the order, put it in a crate, and have it ready for me when I went and picked up. The other $10 was just for the item itself. So it costs the same amount of money to have somebody put it in a box or put it in a crate, wrap it up, and then wait for me to come get it. So, you know, I guess they got to make money somehow, I guess. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I'll probably get those up on eBay in the next few days. I'm extremely busy with uh, my scrapping stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff, if you can see. Right, all up here, stuff scrap down there, scrap out my back in the house, way over here, somewhere over there. I got stuff going on. I got my next door neighbors giving me more stuff. I actually put an ad following a um, recommendation. I can't remember his name from E Waste, the guy out of uh, Melbourne, Australia, is um, advertised. So I put an ad in the local mail or whatever. That uh, gets about 40,000 people that subscribe to it. So 
We'll see if that gets me any new uh, product. I mean, I'm putting the feelers out, trying to pick some more stuff up. You know, if those things don't work, I mean, I know the the spotlight. I can't tell if it works unless I get a power cord. The coffee pot, the Mr. Coffee Brewer, that's going to be pretty easy. I'll know right away. You know, plug it in, hit that button right up there, and then see if the coffee comes out. But I don't have any decanters. So I'll probably have to use one of my own and see what happens. But anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick video of what I just picked up. Hopefully they sell like I'm anticipating. Um, they are, here's another thing, they are big. So storing them in my tight man cave is not going to be easy. If you look right there, see all the bins? <laughs> yeah, I've got tons of room I can start storing stuff. But anyways... Um, have a good night, guys. Rob, reseller guy. Hit the like and subscribe button. Appreciate everybody who watches my videos. Um, keep watching. Appreciate it, guys.